Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back for another Unreal tutorial. Today I want to do a pretty short, simple tutorial based on how to do aim down the sights. Someone commented in the previous, I think it was the socketing video, of how to use sockets, of how we can do ADS, and I think doing ADS is a perfect example of how we can use sockets a little bit more intricately. So this should be very quick, I don't want to go too in depth with it, but this should be a pretty simple answer hopefully. And this is just the base first person template and kind of the answer, the short answer and like the theory answer, to go down to our ADS, which would be directly behind our site here, we have to do kind of one of two things. We either need to move our camera down to the site or move our site up to the camera. The doing the move the site up to the camera is super hard. I don't really advise it. And honestly, the better answer of doing this is either move your camera down to the site or do the in-between where maybe you have an animation that raises up the gun a little bit, but then your camera does the rest of the work. Honestly, for most games, you usually don't really have an ADS like animation to it. You just move the camera down and as like a first person character, it feels great. But some games they do for like multiplayer purposes, they maybe do like a halfway animation where it brings it up a little bit and then the camera comes down. But we're, we're, what we're going to do here is we're just going to move the camera down to the site. It, it just works and it feels pretty good. So there's kind of an issue though. If we open up the base first person character, I don't know why they did this, but there's a bunch of issues I have with this project. And the first one is they made the camera the parent of the meshes beneath. That means that if we wanted to move this camera down to our site, because the, the gun itself is parented to our camera, it would just move down with it. On top of that, for some reason in this project, they also made the center of the screen where this crosshair is to be where our gun shoots and the gun is tilted like at an angle sideways and any type of realistic shooter, what you want to be doing is you want to be using the gun's forward vector to be shooting. And I would just argue most shooters in general, that's a good thing to do. So don't have your gun at like an angle in words. Keep it straight, use the forward vector of the gun, and don't parent your mesh to your camera. So what I'm going to see real quick if we can like reverse this. Let's just set, I guess, our mesh to be onto the capsule component. And then let's move our camera to be a child of the mesh, I think. I think that'll work. And then what we can do here is we want to make some sockets. We're gonna make the beginning socket and the ending socket. So what we can do here is actually, if we wanted to, we could do one of two things here. If this was a full bodied person, what I would normally do is I would normally go into the mesh and I guess we will do this. We need to make a camera socket. So actually what we could do is you can see they have the invisible bones here. What we can just do is we can find the head and what we're going to do with the head here is we're going to right click it, add a socket, and I'm going to call it the camera socket. So we'll rename it camera socket. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go onto the gun itself, which we can go to the gun mesh here, and then we're going to make our ADS socket. So we'll go to the root, we'll add a socket, we'll rename it ADS socket, and then we will lift this up. And when, for your game, you probably need to spend some time being a bit exact and do a little bit of trial and error to figure out because what you need to do is you need to make sure if this is a realistic gun and say it was like iron sights you would have the front iron sight or I guess the back iron sight and then the front iron sight up here you would need to spend a little bit of time fiddling around with like the height to make sure that they line up nicely so that your player when you're aiming down the barrel of the gun it's actually aiming properly that's a little bit of work that you need to do so what we can do is on begin play, what we just want to do is let's set our camera. Let's just make sure it's in that socket. So what we can do is on begin play, let's attach to our scene component. And that scene component is going to be the mesh arms. So it should be here. That's going to be to our mesh as the parent. The socket is the camera socket that we just made. And we just want to snap everything to target. We want to snap the ro location and the rotation. So that at the beginning of the game will snap our, our our camera to where it needs to be at where the head should be and that what we're going to do is we're going to make a new input for right click and if we go into our input on axis mapping we're just going to make ads i'll call it and it will be our right mouse input and with that we can exit out of that and now we can search for ads and there's our input event now what we want to do is we want to set up a flip flop and a flip-flop simply is just when we run it the first time, it'll go A, but then when we run this a second time, it will run B. That's just what that does. And now what we want to do is we need to move our camera down to where that gun socket is. So what we want to use is we want to use a timeline. And we can just call this our ADS timeline if we want to. And what we want to do is on play, let's make this say a length of one. 
And what I want to do with a timeline is that over the course of this one second timeline, I added a new float track here and we need to set the value of this. So what I'm simply just going to do is I'm going to make at zero, zero. I shift clicked it there to make the first point. I'll just set it to be at zero, zero, and then we'll get one, one. And once again, I shift clicked it, shift click there. And that just gives us a nice straight line. It's just for simplicity. And now on update, what we want to do is we want to set the location of our camera here. We want to set the world location of our camera. So on update, where, where is this location that we're going to? Well, the reason why we use the timeline is with this float here, we can actually lerp this vector. So if I grab that vector and I type in lerp, you can see here it goes from A to B or B to A based on an alpha. That alpha is that zero to one that we made here. So our A is going to be the current location of our camera. And I guess to be more precise about this lerp, when this alpha is zero, it's 100% of A. When this alpha is one, it's 100% of B. And anywhere in between, it will be a combination of the two. So what we can do is we can get the world location of our camera, and that'll be our A, that's our starting location. And then our B will be the location of that socket on the gun. So we can get our gun, we can drag it in, we can get socket location. And the socket location, I believe we called it our ADS socket. Yeah, that, that is what it was called, and that'll be our B. So the weird thing here is that we're not linearly moving between the two locations because we're constantly moving the world location of this camera. It's actually kind of curved. It's going to curve rather quickly to be at the location of this, I guess, if that makes sense. Just because normally what you might do is you might first promote the, the current location of the camera. I guess that's not a big deal. Just know this isn't going to move like linearly towards. It's going to zoom pretty quickly to our uh, to our socket location. So if we try this out, that should get that should move us on the first click towards our gun. So if we hit play and we right click, there you go. It moves us towards our gun. So what we need to do now is on B, we need to make it go backwards. So that should work. I believe actually that should just work with no extra setup, I think. So if we right click, it goes down. If we right click, it does not go back up. Why is that? So if we look here, that is because, okay, yes, that is that is the reason why. That is actually an issue that we're using the current locate the current camera location as a and as i said before it zooms down when we do that and when we try to go backwards that doesn't make sense right because our current location is a and a is the same as b we're not moving at all so that's why we made that socket initially inside of our mesh so if we went inside of our mesh and we get the socket location you can remember i think we named it if we look here we put it inside of our head and we named it camera socket so let's grab that socket so now this is properly set up and now this is actually linear between the two of them and now it goes from our camera socket down to our ADS socket and then on reverse it will go from our ADS socket down back up to our camera socket. So if we right click we go down and we can go back up and that's kind of slow. So let's actually speed up our timeline here and I'll actually show something of why I hate this setup even more um, of how oops the time or value needs to be one time needs to be 0.5 there we go. So this needs some extra setup obviously in that from the mesh standpoint because you can see how we can just kind of do this and we can kind of just do this there's some extra setup that needs to be done here that i don't really want to do just know that how they base set up this first person template i don't agree with and if you're going to make a first person game i would recommend not really using the basis of this as your game but for our purposes to show off how we can do ads this looks pretty decent um we're clipping into the gun a little bit so there's two ways to fix this. And the first way to fix it is don't go so deep into the gun. The second way to fix this is there's actually a setting. You'll have to look it up. I believe it is the camera near clipping plane. And if you Google UE4, I think it's near camera, near clipping plane camera or something like that. There's actually inside the engine INI file for this project, you can change how close things clip and why the gun is disappearing here is because our cam camera is getting so close to the gun there's a value that it's saying this is within x units to the camera let's see straight through it you'll probably want to fool around with that value so that it matches what your guns and your ads camera does because oftentimes as i said before you need to match the height of your ads camera to be looking down the sights of your gun so you can't really like just go far enough away to not clip and then you'll just screw up your iron sights so it's i think it's called near clipping plane camera or something like that and it's set inside the ini file 
So kind of the nice thing about this is you can see here, I can spam right click. And the reason why this kind of is so nice and that we can go in and out of it smoothly and there's like no issues here, the player doesn't have to go all the way in and all the way back out at any time they can choose to go back and forth. The reason why that works so nicely is because we use play and reverse. We didn't use play from start and reverse from start. If we set that up, I'll show you how wonky this is if, if we do this. A normal just right click, letting it finish, then doing right click and letting it go back works nicely. But if we start to spam it, you can see how it just, it just doesn't work that well and it starts to glitch around everywhere. That's why for this, you really want to use play and reverse. The last thing I'll go over real quick and how we can make this field probably a little bit cooler is if we grab our camera, we can set field of view. And our current field of view on our camera is 90. And what we can do is we can probably drop this down to something like, let's say 60. And actually we'll lerp this value also. We can do lerp on a float and we'll lerp from zero to one. Our, our A is 90 and our B is 60. Sorry for my cat, we'll be done in two seconds here. And now when we right click, when we go down, you can see how we zoom in a bit. That's just us lowering the field of view. So that's a nice little effect you can give in that you can kind of zoom in a little bit when you get down into your iron sights. So that'll be it for this tutorial. I hope that shows how sockets can be used for so many things, cameras, attachments, whatever. Um, I can reiterate my hate for this first person template and I really don't think it's designed very well. It's not future proof for future mechanics. Um, but that's about it guys. So I hope you learned something. One last look at our code. All we're doing is on right click, we're moving on a timeline, we're alphaing from zero to one, our lerps here, and we're going from our camera location, like our normal camera location down to our ADS location, and we're lerping our field of view up and down to match it. Pretty simple. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.